a lot of unanswered questions, but the main question is, are these shootings related to an Amherst and a deadly one here in Elyria Township? Well, Nikki, this is where that car came barreling through, pushing everything to the front. It is boarded up now, but inside, so much damage, so much work to be done, and the owner is simply heartbroken. Now, that incident happened last Friday around 11 o'clock in the morning. Police say a similar situation took place three days later on Buckner Drive. Everywhere at 5, a neighborhood shaken by a four-year-old boy shot. You'll hear from those neighbors, plus how they feel about the senseless gun violence. And the victim has yet to be identified. An autopsy is scheduled for today. Now, I just talked to police before we went on air. They are still working to find the persons involved. Well, Nikki, this is a story that pulls at your heart. Today is bittersweet for Baby Lotus's family. Her birthday, nothing like they hoped it would be. Since the beginning of the year, there have been 139 departures, and at least half of those were resignations. We're live here on Pearl Road in Altoona, where that deadly crash happened. Debris left behind a painful reminder of the victim. We're waiting to hear it officially from the medical examiner's office. Again, a very emotional day. Just to piggyback of what you were saying, uh, these two men were always out fishing. This was something that was very common for them. We were told last night in Michelle's story that they didn't know how to swim. Well, several students signing this pledge card today vowing to never pick up a gun or even use one to solve their problems. Behind me is the construction site where this incident happened. Now, the employee who spotted this display cannot go on camera. However, this prompted a full investigation. The seven-year-old boy was taken to Metro Health. He's suffering from second and third degree burns. But I want to show you exactly how this crash happened. That driver was coming down Fulton Road up to Park Drive. He missed the curve and drove right into the child's bedroom. Well, Nikki, we are in the exact same spot we were yesterday when that explosion went off, but just over my shoulder. And I did reach out to Cleveland Police to learn more about this crash. I am waiting to hear back. Now, again, the construction project is in phase two. It's expected to be completed by the end of August. We've learned that that is a 40-year-old man in critical condition. He's been transported to Metro Health. Uh, just shortly before I came on air, the accident investigative unit showed up on the scene. And take a look at all of this stuff. This came from the woman's basement. All of it has to be thrown away. Well, we're here live at the Garfield Heights Police Department, and behind me, this is a suspect's car involved in that deadly crash. Something very important to mention, take a look at this sticker. If you see this on either side of a school bus, that is a good thing. The woman is physically okay, but she parked her car in this parking lot. She got out, hoping to go upstairs for a second, but before she could even hit the door, she was stopped in her tracks. The family says this should have never happened. Rohan Smith was shot and killed at this party over the weekend. The mom wants to know how did a gun even get inside the building. Very, very scary situation. Again, a 66-year-old woman is dead. Her name is Eva Burgess. She is from Mentor, Ohio. The chief also mentioned seven people were taken to the hospital.